so hi friend this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so this is the most important video for all the student of jmens 2022 here i will provide you the complete detail about all nit triple it gfti that is percentile versus nit triple it gfti safe score for all category that is minimum percentile that you need to have to get nit triple it gfti college with csc branch that is here i will be considering the csc branch and very soon i will provide you another video in which i will talk about the lowest possible cutoff that is in triple it as you all know there is ec branch lowest there is no mechanical civil in nit what is the lowest minimum cutoff for all type of colleges and for gfti also i will try to provide you but here i will consider the complete information for csc branch that is safe score for all category top 5 triple it nit gfti college for top 10 triple it nit gfti college for top 20 and for lowest as well so here you will get the complete information about all the triple it nit and gfti caller that is minimum percentile that you need to have category wise male female everything i will be discussing in this same video so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that i will get some support from your side and and you will be getting all the update and information not only about the and j advanced but for other entrance exam other counseling also in the same channel so please try to subscribe it's my request to you so let's get started with the top five triple it nit and gfti college so here is the information for general for top 5 triple it if you want then your percentile should be 98.2 or more than that and for nit 99.7 99.4 because in every nit there is male female separate cutoff so i have provided you in triple it also there are some uh, college there are uh, male female separate cutoff and gfti as well but i would like to inform you if you are a female candidate then your pers your percentile requirement will be less that is you can say 0.5 or 1 percentile less will be required so you can consider according to that so now if we will talk about for ews category 97.2 for triple it for nit 99.3 98.6 that is i am talking about csc branch please try to listen my word very carefully it is about csc core branch that is the most demandable for uh, gfti 97.9 and for obc 97.1 for triple it for nit 99.2 98.5 uh, that is for male and female and for gfti it is again 97.9 now if you will talk about for SC category 87, 94, 93 that is for NIT and for GFTI it is 84 percentile and for ST it is 84, 92 and 80 percentile for triple IT, NIT and GFTI college. So this was the complete information about the top 5 GFTI, NIT, triple IT college that is safe percentile that you need to have. Let me inform you that I am considering the safe percentile for JOSA counseling not the CSAF counseling. For CSAF counseling I will, pro I will be providing you a video very soon. But in CCF counseling, it is not 100% sure that you will get the college because CCF counseling is unpredictable. So I am providing you the information which is relevant to JOSA counseling. And once you get this type of percentile, you will be getting the college that is 100% sure. But you will have to do the counseling process carefully. Once you do mistake, other will take the advantage of that because number of seats is limited. A student are unlimited as you also know. So for that only I am here to guide you for everything. That is complete counseling guidance and mentorship. And it is not only for JE means JE advanced, that is CCF. That is JOSA and CSAF counseling, but for other counseling also, whatever is done based on JEE mains, as well as other entrance exams such as Manipal, Comet K, VIT, as well as the as well as A E, K set. So for every counseling, I will be guiding you for MST, CT as well. So it was it is a complete guidance that is I will be doing to you so that you will get the admission in best possible college with best possible branch by the end of this year. And it is very advisable to to have a proper mentor or guider because once you do mistake. You will join the wrong college or wrong branch and there you will regret later so it is very advisable and the unique feature of my counseling is that i will be connected to you every time all day no sunday no monday every day after 10 a.m i will be available to you up to midnight you can talk to me anytime for any duration and it is very important because you will have the doubt again and again so in one call it will not be it will not be sufficient to solve all the doubts so whenever you will have the doubt you can contact me so that we will have the we will have the separate discussion and and one more important thing that is different students have different type of personal interest, different type of uh, family background, different, different type of location preference. So there can't be a general counseling for everyone. So that's why I'm guide. That's why I'm here to guide you personally. So so if you want, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. There is a nominal charge for that. So now let's continue this video. That is for top ten triple IT and IT JPI college for general 97.3 for triple IT college for NIT 99 98.8. And for GFTI it is 95.1. Now if we will talk about EWS 96.9 for triple IT, for NIT it is 98.9, 98.3 and for GFTI it is 93. And for OBC 
96.7 that is for triple it and for nit it is 98.8 and 98 and for gfa it is 93.9 now if you will talk about for sc it is 83 for triple it and for sc st and pwd candidate i would like to inform you but before that i would like to inform you if you are from pwd category then i have provided lots of information for pwd category in the pwd playlist please try to check that check that playlist there you will get lots of information for you and you will able to know and uh, estimate yourself which type of college you are going to get so here i would like to inform you one more thing that is for sc st and pwd category the cutoff for triple it and gfpi will be very low because there is no tfw scheme available in triple it gfpi but but in on the other hand in nit there is tfw scheme that is tuition fee behavior scheme that means you will not have to pay any type of tuition fee in the college you will be studying there for free by paying just the mess fee and hostel fee but in triple it and gfa you will have to pay the fee that's why the cutoff for scst pwd is little bit low in case of triple it and gpi so hope you get my point so for sc it is 83 for triple it for nit it is 9189 and for gfa it is 93.1 and for ST, it is 82 for IIIT, for NIT 88 and 86, and for GFTI, it is 76.1. So, this was about the top 10 IIIT, NIT, and GFTI college, that is the safe percentile for CSE branch. Now, I will talk about the top 20 colleges. So, now I will talk about the top 20 colleges, that is NIT, IIIT, GFTI college. So, for general, 96.2, 95, for IIIT, for NIT 98, 97.3, for GFTI, it is 93.9, for EWS, it is 95.2, 94. That is for triple IT for NIT 97.9, 96.8. That is for, is for male and female NIT college. And for GFI, it is 92. For OBC, 95.1, 94. And for NIT 97.7, 96.5. And for GFI, it is 92.7. And for SC, it is 70 percentile. For triple IT, 88, 85. For NIT, for GFI, it is 74.1. As I said, if you are a female candidate, you will be having the less cutoff as compared to male because in all the NIT, there is female cutoff separately. And for triple IT also, there are some triple IT where female cutoff is lower than a male cutoff. So please try to consider that as well. So, so now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is first you have to download the Philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that in the app. And after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question you want to say that the bulb power is the bulb. Jo hai? वो 220 वोल्टेज पर ऑपरेट हो रहा है राइट इस बैटरी का जो वोल्टेज है वो आपको गिवन है 220 तो ये आपको सिंपल रिलेशन हो गया यहां पर अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम डाउनलोड द फिलो ऐप लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड यूज द कोड IEB001 यू विल गेट द 10% इंस्टेंट डिस्काउंट एज़ वेल सो नाउ इफ यू विल टॉक अबाउट एसटी कैटेगरी 65 एंड 60 परसेंटाइल विल बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर ट्रिपल आईटी एंड फॉर एनआईटी 85 82 एंड फॉर जीएफए इट इज 60 परसेंटाइल so now I will talk about the lowest possible triple IT and IT GFTI college that is for general 95.294 percent will be required at least to get into the triple IT with CSE branch and for NIT 96.6 95.6 and for GFTI 93 and for EWS 93.9 93.2 that is for triple IT and for NIT it is 96.94 for GFTI it is 92 and for OBC 94 96 92.9 for SC 70 81 69.4 and for ST 66 77 66 5 that is for triple IT and IT and GFTI college. So this was the complete information about NIT, triple IT and GFTI college. So hope you get the complete information that is minimum percentile that you need to have to get the CS branch in all type of NIT, triple IT and GFTI college for all the category male, female I have discussed. So hope you like this video. So please try to subscribe to the channel so that I will get some support from your side and please try to Please try to share this video to your friend also so that they can also get this information and at the time of counseling you can contact me for the complete counseling guidance so that you will get the best out of your rank whatever you will get. So thanks again for watching this video. Please try to subscribe.